Should be live. All right, cool. Looks like we have a game. This is Poland versus Hungary. And we have uh, Istvan Serdi playing for Hungary and Sir Camelot. So this is uh, the first matchup, Targ versus Greyjoy. Quickly take a look at the deck list. All right, so we have Targ Lion versus Greyjoy HRD. I think this is um, Drongod. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So this is Drongod Naga's ribs. So it's HRD Naga's ribs, and um, we have Drowned Disciple as the restricted card for Greyjoy. Targ is playing Targ Lion with Great Hall, and the Lion Lion Splash is for Red Keep. Unsurprisingly, two treacheries. Three Gregors, two Illin Pains. Ooh, man, we got some Illin Pain Queen's Guard action going on here. Uh, three Jamies, some Hounds, two Tyrians, a Lancel, and a Gunther. It's a pretty cool deck. Um, we have Cordrogo in this deck. All right. All right, so setups are, you get four gold, right? So it's uh, Kerwin, Old Wick, um, and a Sea Tower against Gregor and Brown Ben Plum. We see Gates into Riddle. We see Gates of the Moon. This is a pretty good setup for John God. Uh, I mean, you got pretty good econ value, right? Like, so this is a six this would be a six gold setup i guess it's not that good but this is can't kill the naga's ribs so we're just like setting up the econ here for drown god to eventually go and use tarly the thrice drown plus uh drown disciple to gain a bunch of power during marshalling so it's really the onus is on the targ player to kind of make drown god do something so Drongod's reset. Drongod is playing at the gates. Exchange Ghosts of Heron Hall, Late Summer's Feast, Lone, Uneasy Truce, and Valor. So pretty good plot lineup to just like stall. And then from Targ we have at the gates, Riddle, Exchange, March, Time of Plenty, Wildfire Assault, and You Win or Die. Interesting that they went with Wildfire Assault in this meta, where um, Return to the Fields is restricted. Uh, I know, I know, Wildfire Assault was picking up popularity because Return to the Fields is so prevalent. All right, I'm gonna have to read a lot of these Drown God cards because I just haven't seen them in, in a while. All right, so zoom in a little bit. After you and Dom kill Drown God. Oh, okay, okay. So he sacrifices, he kills himself to put another guy into play. And this one is, oh, right, you search your top five for a Greyjoy character and put it into your dead pile. Yep. All I know about Drawing God is it's just like a bunch of two and three cost monocons. Although this guy's got, got an intrigue icon. So Gregor, Gregor with Queensguard and Mercenary Contract is kind of interesting. Um... Does he have 
Oh, he does have... He has two copies of Off to Gulltown. Oh, man, that would be so sick. We just see, like, Off to Gulltown here, and Gregor just kill every single person on the board. I hope that's what we're going to see. So, we see... There is the Off to Gulltown. So, Off to Gulltown gets played on Gregor. Uh, Gregor's then going to defend this Intrigue Challenge. And between the Queen's Guard and the Mercenary Contract... What just happened? Oh, that was Pillage. Pillage is Priest of the Drowned God, which is a 3, and then can't do anything about it. Discards from the top of the deck to the Pillage. Oh, I see. Uses Nagaribs as a replacement effect. I wonder how this is worded. If a card is placed into the dead pile via Naga's ribs, does that mean that Gregor's reaction can't trigger? Hopefully somebody will tell me at some point. Either in the VOD or... So we see Gregor pillages Driftwood Cudgel. He still has a gold for mercenary contract, discards a Masande, and then also discards a Freedman. So Freedmen are going to get put into play because Gregor is definitely going to win a challenge by 10. We can see Intrigue, we can just do Intrigue, Military, and Power. Mercenary contract will give us another stand here. Um, discards Acolyte of Waves from, from Pillage, discards given to the Drown God for Claim, I believe? Yep. And we see Military claims the Drowned... Oh, was it another? Oh, it was the Drowned Prophet. And then uses Drown Prophet to place Priest of the Drown God into their dead pile. Okay. Okay, so... Even with four dead characters and Naga's ribs, he loses Dom, uh, Iswan loses Dom because of the standing Gregor plus Masande. Uh, looks like Brahma and Plum died because they didn't have a gold to give him. Alright, so I wonder what you flip here. Do you just Valor this board if you're Isvan? The Gregor has three power on him and has the two attachments. I wonder if it's feasible or it's reasonable to do that. You have you have some econ set up, you have three econ locations, and then you can Iron Maester your own guy. Yeah, and that's what we see. We see Valor, and then we see the March. See that's good. So, he's going to trigger the March first, and he's going to March Gregor, so that way he doesn't die. Um, so, good read, good read by, by Sir Camelot. And then we see both characters for Isvan going into the dead pile via Naga's ribs. 
old wick lets you put characters into play during power challenges, right? Yeah, and then if you win by five, you put it into your hand instead of the bottom of the deck. Sorry, specifically a Drawn God character. So we see Call Drogo come down. Isvan does not have a Marched. So, the version of Drawn God that can be played in, in this version of the, of the like, balance thing isn't as powerful as we saw in one of the, I think a Long Night was the recent tournament, where people were able to play Drawn God Fanatic and Drawn, Pro, and Drawn Disciple in the same deck. I personally don't think Drawn God is that fun to play against, and so... I, while allowing it to exist, you are kind of forced to either take Banner Sun or just play without Vince. And playing without Vince is definitely a big deal for what Vince offers to the Drown God archetype. So we see some more. Um, we see Core Damp Dampair. Uh, who is after you win Dom brings people back from the dead, and we see a dupe along with a drawn disciple. So this this is a pretty good recovery here from from Isvan, like where he was. This is definitely where you want to be. Kaldrogo has a bodyguard. We're actually gonna get two characters back here, right? Because Isvan can do power for six trigger old wick or i guess you can trigger you just attack for three trigger old wick and get a character back in your hand and then also you can use um damp hair yeah so you can use old wick here get a power from john disciple choose a john god character so i guess he's going to choose a damp hair as to gain um gain the power does he not use Oldwick? I wonder if he did. I wonder if that. Because if you put use a character to put Oldwick into play, you'll trigger Drawn Disciple, right? Yeah. Oh well. And then we see Damp Hair brings back Drowned. Disciple and then dr or not disciple drown drowns got apostle drown got apostle then uses its reaction after you and Dom in the same window to kill itself to bring back another character to then trigger darn disciple again it, maybe oh that's maybe why he doesn't use oldwick because he needs this character it's two power either way I guess I don't know. So we see exchanged versus at the gates. See another great hall get picked up here. And Istvan gets Iron Islands, Fishmonger, Rose Road, and Risen. Oh, we see Illin Pain. Kill a character printed cost three or lower. So he uses Illin Pain to kill Dampair and then we see the queen. There's the Queen's Guard. Yeah. So Il Illin Pain is gonna mow mow this board down. It looks like. 
This is really big for, for Cam Sir Camelot here. Oh, he has a second Risen? But, I mean, you can just stand, right? You just keep keep killing him? Yep, I mean... Yeah, I guess I guess he did kill him. <laughs> we see die die with his tongue stuck. Okay, so he's stood twice. And then I think if he stands one more time, he can kill the drowned disciple, which is what I think he wants to be able to do. Or People comment, Benji says, I've never seen that before, and Neo commenting, you were lucky guy. I believe Illin Pain Queensguard was a 2018 world. Um, I was, I saw people playing that. Hey, what's up, Rebs? We see Queen Guard discards Jiqui, and I think we're going to kill the Drowned Disciple here. So, yeah, Illin Payne kills Drowned Disciple. Oh, no, kills Priest. Interesting. I wonder why you kill... Maybe because Priest has an Intrigue Icon? And you don't want um, an Intrigue Challenge to take your last card? I, I guess that would be the reason. We see Old Grey Gull and then another priest. Old Grey Gull kills and then returns character from your dead pile to your hand. Okay. So he can use Grey Gull to bring back um, um, Dampair. So we see Military I Challenge from... Cam what? How does Sir Camelot get his hand back? That's the real question. He has time of plenty. He also has an exchanged. Okay, so those are the two ways for him to draw cards. He has winner die also. And then we use gifts for the widow to put another bodyguard on the Drogo. Interesting. Oh, right, he just doesn't want to discard it. Alright. Holy shit. Like, I don't understand. People people in games are, are talking like this is a tournament. In a tournament game, you don't, like, walk up to your friend's match and just say, hey, why didn't you do this? That's just, like, wow.
So we see Winter Die against um, Late Summer's Feast. I I guess I'll get you some. I don't know. We'll we'll teach people social social norms during this try these trying times. So we see Illin Payne kills Drowned Disciple. I think Illin Payne's just gonna kill the entire board, right? Queen's Guard discards Rose Guard. We're gonna kill. Yep, kill this guy. Kill this guy. Man, Illin Payne Queen's Guard. And the Valor has already been used. This is just brutal. Discards Shadows of the East. Whoa. And then we're going to see another character. We're going to see a character now. So, oh, we just see the, the Great Halls reduce for... Well, I think Benji is on Team Hungry. So I, like... Presumably... Presumably, the Hungarians gave it to him, which is fine. I don't care if people watch. Like, just have some kind of decency and tournament etiquette. Correct. I he, he has been he has been warned. The discussion is that uh, people are making comments in the in the game chat, and I have warned them to be quiet, or they will incur penalties for their team. I mean, that's just, that's, that's all it is. Like, so, if he says anything else, like, he's just gonna, like, he's probably gonna get his team a game loss. Like, regardless of how this game is actually going. And if he doesn't in the future, he will also, he will also incur his team penalties. Like, I, I, I did, I did my due diligence. I gave a warning first, and we'll, we'll see how it plays out. But yeah, I, I, you know, if, if people are seeing this, um, streamers, Wait, Benji is French? Why is he commenting on this game then? He's he'll incur penalties for the French team then. Uh, he he'll get himself a game loss. Yeah, basically basically if you're if you're in a game and you're you're you know not not following the rules, you're going to incur penalties. Like, I, I get it, this isn't the most, you know, it's not like, you know, worlds, you know, we're not all together, but have some some sense of tourna tournament uh, decency, basically, like tournament etiquette. So we see uneasy truce versus exchange, exchange to refill the hand again. Uneasy truce. Each player cannot gain power for his or her faction except during challenges. Okay. After challenge. Oh, this is like a, just like a stall plot. You just flip this, and then it basically negates um, unopposed. Although on power, you still are down one. So we see Janie. Oh, you still gain renown too, right? So I think this is just gonna be it. Noble lineage on Jamie. Is fun with more econ, but I mean, every one of his characters is just gonna get mowed down. We see this character cannot be killed though. All right, we found one character immune to Sir Ill and Pain. And then he kills him? Oh, for given to the Drown God. To draw four. Sacrifices another King's Road. For Tarly, okay. The problem is that all of the characters he needs to be in play get killed by Illin. Like, I don't, I think, I don't think Tarly helps him here, right? Like, I, I feel like Drown God just has an insanely hard time beating Illin Payne. Without, like, Vince and, um... I mean, even Vince doesn't really help, right? Because you just keep killing things. So he so he needs to take an action to kill this, right? 
Yeah, there we go. There's the action. To kill it with ill and pain. Action. Let's see. Is he going to discard a card? Okay, so he discards a card. To stand ill and pain. And then... Isvan says pass. And I think Sir Cam will just pass here. I don't see a reason for him to kill this character. Um cuz cuz Isvan still has power on his card. He can still yeah, you can still kill cuz um both players have to pass action in a row for the phase to end. So he kills, and then he should get another action window to stand um, with discarding one more card. <laughs> Isfan says, you're merciless. Sir Camelot says, I heard Drown God loves to die. He's not wrong. And so here's the military, first first military. This is actually sick. So Jamie plus Call Drago is pretty sweet. Because you can just keep doing, um, you can do a second military. So Uneasy Truce takes a power. But then he's going to gain one for Unopposed. And then he's going to gain two for Renown. And then he just wins on another one. Uses Queen's Guard. To stand, do this card. Oh, discards another ill plane and stands called Drogo. Sure, does another military with both, and that should be game. Indeed, Smash Bros plus the bald guy, and yep, Sir Camelot wins the game. Um, from unopposed plus two renowns. So, this game was interesting. Um, Drawn God like kind of never got going. Because they had to answer the board immediately, because we had the we had the Gregor with the two attachments and um, the Optical Town, so like that turn one really really set the tone. And then after being forced to Valor, you saw um, Camelot re reload with Caldrogo, and then Ill and Pain plus this bodyguard just kind of literally won the game. It was pretty insane. All right, well that that's uh that's one game here, and so. Looks like Poland will take a 1-0. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, you know, as games keep getting put up, we will keep uh, keep streaming them.